Hey, and welcome back to Real Housewife Recaps. Today, I'm covering Below Deck Mediterranean Season 5, Episode 6, Oh Snap. So let's get into it. So we pick up with these asshole charter guests. They were pretty awful last week. Malia is with the primary. The other ones are waiting to get picked up. There's some confusion. There's a radio problem. It turns out Malia's walkie is not working right, so she's able to radio from the boat and get the guests taken care of. Of course, we see the guests wanting to get back on the boat. So then we see the guests inviting their friends from the club uh, back to the boat. And Kiko is freaking out because he is doing this huge meal. So it ends up being 72 plates for 12 guests, which is crazy. So the guests get back on the boat. The primary has to say goodbye to his dog, Scout, who is... <laughs> brought there by the dog nanny. The guests are chilling out in the afternoon. They're being brought snacks. We see this Leon guy again, who if we remember from last week is the worst. He's talking to some chick he met in a club and she's telling him that her mom had texted her about the boat. And he literally says, don't care. Oh, sounds like such a winner. We have Malia talking to Pete again about what had happened earlier where he was sarcastic on the radio. He's trying to save his own A and pretend like he wasn't sarcastic, even though he obviously was. So I'm actually really liking Alex. I think he's got a cute personality and he's a lot of fun and seems like a sweet guy. Of course, he's friends with Jessica. So we see a funny scene here of <laughs> him acting like a middle schooler and asking Jessica if he, if she thinks Bugsy might like him and if she said anything. So I thought that was a cute scene. So Kiko is working on this international menu and they're trying to set the courses and figure it out for 72 plates, which is wild. Now we get to see Hannah being good old Hannah again. So Kiko is nervous. He's trying to say, if I can pull this off, I'm good. And Hannah says something really assholey, which is if you don't, it's on you. Of course he knows that, Hannah. Come on. Is that what he needs to hear when he's prepping a huge meal? Probably not. I just... She says a couple of things this episode that kind of bugged me, and that was one of them. So Bugsy is killing the table decor thing. She's teaching Jessica how to fold napkins, and she just seems to have a really positive attitude about everything. We see some moments with Jessica and Rob and some flirting going on in the laundry room. And it's time to start the huge meal. So we see all the deck crew helping out as well as, of course, the interior. They're trying to get all this stuff sent out. We got this weirdo guy waiting for food. So let's talk Captain Sandy for a second. I have been a fan of Captain Sandy, and I still am not going to say too much bad stuff about her. But she's hovering. She's micromanaging. It's weird. It, I mean, I know they couldn't leave the dock this charter, but... I'm just not loving the way she's, I don't know, acting or being portrayed. Whatever it is, I just don't love it this season. What do you think? We see Pete. Of course Pete is still texting Laura. They're equally as bad as each other. So after this huge meal is over, the guests are hanging out. They're up partying. They're drinking. We see that Alex and Hannah are stuck on the lates. They're trying to get them to calm down a little bit. I didn't love this part either. I, I totally think that the guests were being super obnoxious. They're asking for snacks. And Hannah <laughs> makes an agreement with them. She's like, I'll bring you this one thing and then you got to go to bed. Well, I, I know it's annoying. And I know that I will say that they're being super rude. But I, if you're paying all that money, Hannah, you can't talk to them like that. I don't think. Um, they weren't crossing a line by asking for stuff like this. I mean, it's obnoxious, yes, but its I don't think it's unreasonable completely to ask for this stuff, and I thought Hannah's reaction was unreasonable. So then it's the next morning. The primary ends up getting up early. He's getting his breakfast. Bugsy and Jessica are trying to take care of the guests, and Pete's just hanging out in the galley, just being all creepy. Bugsy calls him out on it and says, stop undressing me with your eyes. He's just being creepy, not really sure why he's hanging out in there. Rob and Jess are <laughs> all over each other in the galley. I'm sure that's got to be annoying as well. The guests have to put in one more awful jab. Did you guys see this? 
They're talking about the crew sweatings and says, and they say to get a new job. I mean, it's just such shitty behavior. So the, the guests get off the boat and the captain calls a crew meeting. You can imagine where this is going. Usually the worse the guests, the worse the trip, the tip. So Sandy is complimenting Kiko and everybody else on a job very well done for all the hard work. The crew ends up making $1,277 each. I kind of remember them making like $1,800 before, so this seems like an especially low tip. Hannah and Jessica are having snack, and Hannah's talking about Rob and girlfriend or whatever she is, where they have the open relationship, and how he posted about missing her on social media. So then at that same time, Rob comes down. It's kind of funny and awkward. Um, Jessica's saying she doesn't want to get effed over and get her heart broken again. Malia is on the phone with her boyfriend, Tom, who we find out is a chef. And it sounds like he's going to come visit soon. Then they all go out to dinner. They go out to dinner and Alex and Bugsy are are starting to be into each other. It's cute. I, I root for them. I think they, they're cute together. Like I say, I like Alex. I like Bugsy. I'm hoping that there's something there. And it's funny because Pete seems like he's jealous. He thought he had something with Bugsy. Jessica and Rob are flirting. Hannah brings up the girlfriend or the open relationship. And Rob says she's not his girlfriend and says that he broke it off um, because he didn't want to cheat on someone, even if they're going to be in an open relationship. And if that's the case, I say that's great. I have the feeling something else is going on. I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Uh, all I'll tell you is if you're interested, if you go listen to Watch What Happens Live, Jessica kind of gives an update of what's going on with her and him, and I'll just leave it at that. So we'll see. Hannah decides to pull Bugsy aside. What a weird, awkward conversation. I didn't love this part. Hannah says, weren't you worried about working with a lousy chief stew? Hannah also says she's in a better stage of her life. So maybe Bugsy will respect the hierarchy more. And Bugsy handled it well. She said it's a mutual respect. And I just, I don't know. Again, I thought that was a crappy move of Hannah. Bugsy's doing a great job. And and Hannah just can't help but be an ass. So they go back to the boat. And it's one of my favorite scenes. It just really made me laugh when Bugsy and Alex got in the hot tub. And they were shit-faced. And they couldn't figure out why it wasn't getting warmer. And Alex kept saying, it'll be warmer, just wait. And Malia comes out there and is making fun of them for sitting in the cold water and says the heater's not even on. So then we got good old Pete on the phone with Laura. And it sounds like they're trying to meet up after Charter. Oh, so weird. It's so weird how he seems into Bugsy and then he's calling Malia. I mean, calling Laura and... I'm not surprised. It's just he's a weirdo. Then we have this really hilarious shot of Alex through his armpit. I don't know what the cameraman was doing there, but it was really funny. Uh, Bugsy's in bed. He gives her a smooch just on the head for good night. It was super cute and sweet. And then we have the next morning. Bugsy is hung over completely. It sounds like most of them were. Then the cringe factor goes up to a million because Pete decides to tell Bugsy that he's going to undress Laura with his teeth. I mean, it makes me nauseous. That's disgusting. He's awful. Bug says, have you had relationships with crew before? And Pete says, just banging in my stewardesses. <sighs> he says he's met some, I won't say the word, starts with a C, ends with a K. Uh, male anatomy, how about that? Hopping stews. What? It's just an idiotic thing to say and unprofessional and ugh. You can tell how uncomfortable Bugs is here. It's awful. Uh, then we see Jessica. Oh my gosh, this looks so painful. So Jessica appears to have closed her hand or her finger in the door when she's cleaning cabins. Oh, that's terrible. She smashes in the door. She thinks it might be broken. She's not sure. She said she, she was talking about the snap and oh. That's terrible. So then we see a flash to the next episode. On the next episode, it looks like we get some more awful charter guests, which is kind of funny because usually it's like awful and then the nicest charter guests. But no, these people look awful as well. 
Uh, Kiko looks like he might be off his game a little bit. Hard to tell if it's these awful charter guests or him messing up dinner. We got Bugsy talking to Captain Sandy, apparently about how uncomfortable she felt by how Pete was talking. And then Malia talking to Pete about his ego and his cockiness. And then in the last scene, we talk, we see Captain talking about the possibility of letting Pete go. So very interested to see next episode. Should be great. Well, that's it for the episode. I'm also covering Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm doing the last season of Potomac to get ready for season five, which is about to come out. So check them all out. If there's a show you want to see covered, let me know in the comments. Speaking of comments, thank you all so much for your wonderful comments. I just so sincerely appreciate it. I take the time and read and try to respond every single one of them. And I just appreciate all the nice comments you guys have left. It really has been so nice and wonderful. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Real Recaps. And again, I appreciate everything and have a great day. Bye-bye.